Today, we're here at Lindy's Bakery and Gift Shop, which is Lindy's and Mom's Kitchen. Mm -hmm. We're going to check out their amazing gift shop here, and we're going to learn more about the story of these businesses, how they got started, and what it's like to be here in downtown. We're gonna find some treats and treasures. And treasures. Let's check it out. Hi, welcome to Lindy's. Hi, Lindy's Treats and Treasures. You know, I think I'm in the treasure area yes, you of are. this. This is wonderful. Uh, do you make these by hand? Yes, I do. Oh my goodness, all of these. Did you go to school for some of this? Did, how did you learn to, to no. make jewelry like this? No, um, back in 2013, I started it as a hobby. I started with beading, basic, single-stranded things. Okay. Uh, decided that's not really what I wanted to do, so I got into wire wrapping. And okay. examples of the wire wrapping is something like that. Uh, pull these out. Show you. Now these are made out of uh, sterling silver wire and this stone here is labradorite and if you look at it it's really a pretty stone. It changes color. So then once I did that then I wow. got it started into the silversmithing. Um, I did take a two-day course on that. Two days. Two days. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the kind of stuff I do um, here on the uh, silversmith. So that's sterling silver and the different stones. I have turquoise, verisite. So then uh, that's something that's really hard to do here in the shop because okay. I have to have a torch for the soldering. So I needed something to do here while well, you know, I wasn't doing anything else. So I got back into the beading. Your background actually has nothing to do with all of this. No, it does not. <laughs> uh, I spent 22 years in a science-based industry. Uh, I got my degree in microbiology, a uh, master's in business management, and just uh, the last job I had was in the biotech company. And I think I got to the point where I was tired of working for other people to for them to achieve their goals so I wanted to work on my dreams um, I've always kind of had it in the back of my mind that I wanted my own business and thinking and seeing buildings have always you know the, the downtown has always been something kind of cool in the back of my head and once I got to that point where I was burnt out didn't want to do that anymore I like Let's do it. So this is our barkery. Uh, we have things for just day to day. Uh, these are just, this for example, our little bones are sweet potato and honey. We have cheese hearts. We have beef and cheese tacos. For the larger dogs, we have squirrels. And probably the most popular in these are the Piggly Wigglies, which are bacon, egg, and cheese. Wow. So if your little dog has a birthday coming up, we do have a large birthday cake that will feed up to four medium-sized dogs. <laughs> <laughs> what do you consider the most rewarding thing about running a business? I really like that I'm able to be a part of the community. Um, back in the day when I was in my other position, I never really got involved with much, and this is this has brought me to that point where I can get out. I you know I try to help the community, the people around me. Um, something else that I like is that I can set my own expectations, and that I know that I'm going to meet my own high standards. A lot of treasures, but I also kind of notice back here there's some treats <laughs> also. Yes, there is. <laughs> Can we maybe go back and talk about some treats? Sure. Come All on. right.
So back here in the treats area, we have my diner, the Lindy's Diner, where we serve lunches uh, daily. And it's basically just different kinds of sandwiches and soups. And the sandwiches are made on bread that uh, Chris makes in Mom's kitchen. So that's what makes them so good. And then we have Mom's Kitchen Bakery with the rest of the treats. Chris. Yes. This is your area of expertise, and I think you've got it down pretty good. This you, is... you have a helper, too? Yes. I'm Chris, or uh, Mom. I answer to Mom, <laughs> anybody who calls me that. This is my assistant, Randy, Randy All Parnell. Right. She's my right-hand man. Now, you... Uh... Did you start out as a hobby doing this, or? Yes. Ah. I was working for, uh, I was a clerk for CISD okay. for the special education department um, after years of working production and was absolutely uh, unable to do nothing. So on weekends and holidays, I started um, doing the cinnamon rolls and kolaches for uh, the people that I knew from school, all the teachers and stuff. So I did that for three years. Okay. Uh, and then um, I was getting up before work to do that and coming home from work and doing more of that. Uh, and in 2016 is when uh, I had to pick one or the oh. other. And so here we are. Here you are. Chris, what brings you the most joy, happiness out of doing a job like this? The people, like our people, um, are the best. And like my favorite thing in the world is like getting to watch somebody eat something like right in front of us because it is just delightful. So, and especially a little kid, like a little kid with a cookie. What is your feelings about downtown? Has it been a good place to, to be? I have been, like when I was at home, I had actually looked at property down here trying to figure out like how I could make that work to get out of my house. And so when Lindy bought this building, it was perfect. And when we moved here, um, we were like one of the first ones down here on this side, on Chambers. So. I was amazed at like how vested everybody was in downtown. Like we have people who like seriously are concerned. Like they want to know if you're doing well. They support everybody down here. Pie this bars. is the pecan pie bar. So it's like a piece of pecan pie that you can just pick up and eat like yes. a cookie. Uh, it's everything, can you see? Uh, all of the oh, yeah, gooey yeah, layers. Yeah. Um, this is popular. I thought that people were going to be tired of pecan pie after the holidays, but it's not possible. this is good. This, uh -huh. if you're a peanut butter lover, is the peanut butter sandwich cookie made <laughs> with this amazing peanut butter buttercream. So it's, and it weighs about I don't know, half a pound. It's a heavy, heavy, big snack. <laughs> uh, I got mine. You got to come down here and get yours. Well, Lindy, Chris, I want to thank you for spending some of your time with us for this segment of Downtown Heroes. In fact, we want to thank you for being one of the first Downtown Heroes. Brown paper bag. You know, there's something about you, Don, when you step up to the counter at Mom's Kitchen, it's like the inner child begins to come out. <laughs> inner child, huh? Yeah. It turns into the outer child. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you're in downtown and you're in the mood for a treat or a treasure, you must come to Lindy's Treats and Treasure in Mom's Kitchen here in downtown Cleaver. I'm your host, Craig Miller. This is Don Cook. We'll see you next time. Five golden rings. You got my gut in the shot? Yeah. yeah. Okay, <laughs> fantastic. <laughs>